Our protocol will help answer the impact that immune cell interactions have on islet functionality. The live pancreatic tissue slice method allows for islet physiology and function to be studied while maintaining the tissue's underlying pathologies and native microenvironment. This method could provide insight into the disease processes of pancreatic illnesses such as pancreatitis, type 1 diabetes, and type 2 diabetes. To begin, arrange the blocks on the specimen holder in such a way that they do not exceed blade width, ensuring that the blade can move forward the least possible distance when the vibratome moves slowly. Apply a line of superglue on the specimen holder, making a thin layer using the end of the glue dispenser. Then, flip the tissue blocks onto the glue so that the side close to the tissue faces upward. Gently push down the blocks and let the glue dry for three minutes. Next, attach the plate to the vibratome with a screw and adjust the blade height and distance being traveled so that the blade moves over the length of the blocks and just barely above them. Gently nudge the blocks with the forceps to check that the glue has dried, and then fill the vibratome tray with a chilled extracellular solution until the blade is covered. Set the vibratome to make slices of 120 micrometer thickness and start it. Then observe the slices coming off the tissue blocks. Lift the slices when they float off the block by placing a paintbrush or forceps below them, and place the slices in Krebs Ringer bicarbonate buffer containing 3 mm D-glucose and trypsin inhibitor. Place the plates containing the slices on a rocker and incubate at room temperature for an hour at 25 RPM. If the slices need to be kept for longer, place the slices in 15 milliliters.